great film, guys. Congratulations. Very powerful, moving. Um, Lewis, I'm curious, was it difficult for you to work opposite something that wasn't really there for most of the film? Because the monster, obviously, it's not real. Was that difficult for you as an actor, well, especially it's only your second movie ever? Correct? Yeah, I mean, at times, it was just like a tennis ball on the top of a pole. But what they actually did was they, ma they made the monster's face. They, they had, like, a physical one constructed with, like, all sorts of mechanics in it that made the lips move and like the eyes like light up and so having that there along with uh, Liam's voice coming through the speakers uh, was really helpful. Did it present any challenges to you though as an actor? Um, yeah it definitely did I mean when you're acting with a real person you have somebody to like go back and Bounce forth. Off of, yeah. yeah go back and forth with and I sort of I didn't really have that um, with with the monster but yeah. <laughs> And Felicity, I understand that you spoke with a lot of people who had terminal illnesses, who were going through chemotherapy. How did that inform your performance and what did you learn from them? Oh, it was vital. It was, it was so important uh, for all of us to, to understand the, the details of, of what it's like for someone to go through that. So I spoke to women who, who were very candid about their experiences and, and, and I think you have a responsibility when you're playing this kind of role to, to get it right. In working with this kind of material where it's kind of not the cheeriest, happiest material, when you're done after a day on set, is it hard to kind of separate yourself from it when you go home? Do you feel emotionally drained after working with this type of stuff all day? Well, to be honest, like, at the end of a day, like, when I've, like, been, let's say, getting very emotional like Connor does, I I often do feel this drained and just, like, completely just want to go to sleep, to be honest. <laughs> so that's not usually what I do. And how about you, Felicity? Yeah, I, I mean, I always find straight after you have this weird surge of adrenaline and you're suddenly, your mind's buzzing and you're thinking through the day and then, as Lewis said, just suddenly it just, you just drop yeah. and you're like, I need to go to bed. I can imagine, yeah. And just quickly before we wrap up, you have a small little sci-fi film coming up in a few months. Yeah, just People might movie. have heard of it, Rogue yeah. One, right? <laughs> um, so we know Gareth is aiming to distinguish it from all the other Star Wars films. So in terms of tone, is it going to feel like something totally new or will it still have kind of that classic, familiar Star Wars feel to it at parts? Uh, I, I feel the, the way it's shot is very unique and it, it has a very realistic approach. So there was a lot of handheld camera. We'd often be on a, we'd call it a 360 degree set and the, the camera could go anywhere at any time. And so it has a very fresh, uh, naturalistic approach, which I feel audiences will find new. Sounds great, very excited. Thank you yeah. so much for your time, guys. Thank you. Congratulations Lovely, again. thank you. Thank you.